I'm gonna show you three nails, but I'm gonna show you the same design. I'm gonna show you the design, first of all, in our Mission Control gel paints. I'm gonna show you the design in acrylic, and I'm gonna show you the design using hard gel and gel polish. So the first nail that I'm gonna do, I've already sculpted out the whole nail in our cover pink. What we're gonna be using today is Mega Jam, Sonic, and Fizz. Those are from our Mission Control gel paint kit. I'm also gonna be using our gold foil and our stain resistant top coat. So I'm gonna use my spatula and take a little bit of each color and I'm actually gonna come in and I'm gonna mix these together because I actually want a little bit more of a purple color today rather than that teal and pink. So I'm just gonna mix those together just to kind of press those together. If it doesn't mix perfectly, that's okay. That'll give you a little bit more dimension into your marble design. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of the white to it. Now at this point, I'm gonna take just the tip of my spatula and I'm just gonna kind of mix those colors together. Now I don't wanna completely mix them. I do wanna keep that marble look to it. I'm gonna take our stain resistant top coat and I'm just gonna put a nice thin even coat of that and I'm not gonna cure it just yet. When I'm applying my Mission Control, I actually want kind of that slippery surface for my product to kind of just flow a little bit. So I'm gonna use our gel brush, and I'm just gonna pick up, just kind of press my brush through that product, pick up, and then I'm just gonna kind of let that product kind of roll and flow off my brush. If you want to, you can kind of come back in and move that product around a little bit more. I'm gonna wipe out that extra paint out of my brush, come back in and pick up just a little bit more. And again, just kind of let it flow into that nail and move it right where you want it. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that in. And again, you can just kind of touch and pull wherever you want that marble to flow. I've got my product right where I want it. I'm gonna put this into the light and we're just gonna freeze that for 30 seconds you can do a full cure of a minute, but 30 seconds is enough to move on to our next step. Now we're gonna come in with our gold foil, and we do have kind of a tacky surface because of the stain resistant top coat. That stain resistant, it does have that little bit of a tackiness to it. Okay, so I'm gonna take just a few pieces here and there and just press them down into that tacky surface. Now keep in mind that when the uh, mission Control cures, that does not have a tacky surface. So if you need to, just take a little bit of your protein bond and just kind of touch a little bit wherever you want your foil to adhere. Okay, so again, come back, placing my foil wherever I want it, whether it's into that tacky surface of the stain resistant or over the top of our marble, however you want to place it. All right, so I think I have my foil right where I want it. I'm really coming in and just kind of pressing that foil down so that there's no little points of it poking up. Then we're gonna go back in with our stain resistant top coat and I'm gonna go in and do two coats of our top coat. So this way, that first coat is gonna seal in that foil, but our second coat is gonna smooth it out. So if you do have any little tiny bits and pieces of that foil that's kind of poking out over the top, that second coat will take care of it. So that is the first way that we're gonna do our marble design. So we're gonna do the same design on this next nail, but we're gonna use acrylic for this one. So I've got Paper Airplane, Courtesy Call, and I've got Radiant Blitz. I've got my Speed Clear, and then I'm also gonna use my Cover Pink acrylic. Okay, so I'm gonna start with building out my extension. Okay, and I'm just gonna do just a very thin layer for the extension because we're still gonna build over the surface and we don't want our extension to be too thick that we end up filing our design off. I'm also gonna take just a really small pearl of my cover pink. And I'm gonna place that onto the natural nail. This way, when you go to change out your design, you're not gonna have to file all the way down to that natural nail. You only need to file down to where that cover pink is. Now this is kind of a fun technique. So we're basically gonna double dip our brush. So you're gonna dip half the brush into one color and then you're gonna turn over and dip the other half into the other color. And then you can just kind of float that onto the nail and just start to blend that in. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my other color. Again, I can double dip 
and just start to blend that in. And I tend to like to use my product a little on the wetter side at this point, so that way it's gonna flow a little bit more. And I'm gonna bring that up to the top here. Just kind of drawing my brush through. Now, if my product is still wet, I can bring back my gold foil and I'm just gonna place that again wherever I want. Now, if your product starts to set and you feel like your foil's not adhering anymore, go ahead and add just a little bit of your Speed Clear just to kind of wet that surface a little bit. And then I can pick up a little bit more of my foil and just press that down into the clear. And I think that again is about where I want it. So now what I want to do is I'm going to encapsulate and cover the whole nail with my speed clear. So that way when I go to do my filing, I'm not going to file off any of my design, but I'm still going to build up the structure that I need for that nail. So now I know that I've got enough product for the structure of the nail. Okay, so that's our second nail. Let's go ahead and do our third nail in the gel. So now we're gonna work with our concealer pink gel in our precision tube. I'm also gonna use our concealer pink base gel. All right, so I'm gonna start with my concealer pink, connecting my product to the free edge, and then we'll build out the length. And I'm just gonna kinda of taper that down down the free edge. I see I've got a little bit of a bubble right in the center of that. I want to make sure that I pop that bubble before I cure my nail. And then I'm going to clean up that free edge. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that into the light and freeze that for 30 seconds. I'm going to use my concealer pink base and we're just going to start at our cuticle area and we're going to brush that forward and through that whole extension. And then we'll cure that one as well. Now at this point, I can come in and remove my form. And the colors that I'm gonna use are Manicure White 101, which is a really nice bright white, our Aquamarine 101, which is actually one of my favorite colors, and then Lavender 101 for that little purple shimmer. I'm gonna put down a little bit of each color and same thing, I'm just gonna blend those together, just kind of swirl through them. Bring that product together. And same thing, I'm gonna use my gel brush, just kind of scoop up a little bit of that product and just blend it right through that nail. Then again, you can use the tip of your brush just to kind of swirl those colors together, drag through it, that really is kind of the fun part about this design is it's not something that has to be perfectly organized. It can be just kind of random. Again, I'm gonna freeze this in the light for 30 seconds. So at this point, our base gel, our extension, and all of our manicure colors, those all have a tacky surface to them. So I'm not gonna to have to worry about putting in a little bit more protein bond or anything. Our foil is gonna stick wherever we put it. Again, make sure that you're pressing that product down but because we're gonna encapsulate this, it doesn't necessarily have to be flat. So if it's not perfectly flat, don't worry about it. I'm gonna come in with my Build Pink and we're just gonna overlay this whole nail and encapsulate all of that product. And now I'm gonna go in for the full one minute cure. We've got our nail done with Mission Control Gel Paints. We've got our nail done in acrylic with Slick Pour. And we have our nail done with our hard gel and our manicure gel polish. So you can see that we've done all three of these nails with completely different products and different techniques, but you're gonna get the same look. So whichever design and whichever, to, um, whichever product you choose to use is gonna work great. So hopefully you guys will be able to try this in all of your different mediums and enjoy doing the design.